Hey VJS Nation, my name is Cody BonteQ and on this Mighty Byte, we're going to be looking at some input validation alongside TRPC and Zod. So in the previous Mighty Byte, we looked at building a basic procedure and now we're going to use, we want to get, accept some user input. So to do that, first we're going to import Zod. And then we're going to actually extend this procedure to use Zod's input. And what is this going to take? Is the Zod object. So if we need an object, we can now pass it in an object. What we're going to want to do is take in some text. Use Zod's string function. And so now that we're gaining the input, let's pass it into our query and then let us generate an endpoint or the value that's going to be returned. So here, let's just say hello. And now let's get our inputs text. And so if we actually now go into our index.view where this is being rendered, it's going to give us an error. And the reason if we hover, it's an, an argument for input was not provided. So let's go ahead and give it our text and say view JS nation. Now you might be asking why Zod instead of just general type safety. And I think one of the key reasons is Zod provides a runtime schema validation because TypeScript is compiled, but it doesn't actually give you that runtime level validation. And so Zod is great for handling user input and validating these things prior to them being sent to your database. Hope you enjoyed.